Hi Aries, this is Shah uh, from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. Uh, please uh, subscribe if you're new and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified. If you're a Cyber Angel, thank you very much for coming back and uh, your, for your loyalty, your likes and shares as well. Please check that you are subscribed to your favorite channels by refreshing the bell uh, on all and then you'll be notified. And remember also check your settings in the back of your device. I will make a little video out of it just to show you and I don't know when that will be up and running but uh, I'm getting a lot of people saying they're not getting notified. So refresh that bell. Okay and then you'll get a pop-up saying you'll be notified. I think the alpha rhythm just kicks out um, the people sometimes and so you have to stay connected. I have been saying this and I found that by accident and it apparently it is quite true because I wasn't getting notified from channels that I follow. For example Brenda and Brenda and I found this out together as we talk daily. Okay, well, this is your reading for the 31st of August to the 6th of um, September 2020. And the first card you have is the Lord. The Lord is also known in other decks as the Emperor. He is a man of authority. He knows the letter of the law. He has life experience. He's higher than the kings because he rules uh, kingdoms, not just one kingdom, but kingdoms. And he is also known as an advisor. Um, you might be seeking professional advice. This could be of a doctor, this could be of a lawyer, a school teacher, a headmaster, a, ma a mature man that you respect, or your father. Also, like I said, a professional, but it could also be a mature man that you respect. So it could even be your partner if he is older and mature than you. Okay, so he also represents Aries. So if you uh, might be doing business you might, um, with an Aries, you might be seeking advice from this Aries. Okay, the card uh, clarifying this card is, uh, once you have seeked advice then it's most probably wise to take time out as you have the hermit. Now the, uh, the um, hermit he always lightens his load as he's always traveling along his path, his spiritual path or his physical path. On his physical path he will pass on his knowledge to the third parties, people that ask him for advice or seek advice or wisdom. He will also teach them about spirituality. So that means meditation or contemplation and evaluation. So the advice is to take time out to contemplate the answer or advice that you are seeking. Number nine is an ending. And also where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. This also represents Virgo. So Aries is um, definitely um, an uh, a force of element here. You might be the one, but you could be the advisor as well to a Virgo. Or you, you might be seeking advice from a Virgo. This is a, a, a both possibilities, but it also explains that after you've s sought advice you need to think about that advice so it's to take time out and take it easy and think about it, contemplate about it or meditate on it. In the middle of, pardon me, in the middle of the week we've got temperance and temperance is um, balance, seeking balance. This could be between heart and soul, this could be between heart and mind, this could be it on the work front and the home front, or if seeking balance within yourself spiritually, okay? So, or seeking balance in financially as we have the uh, six of 
air. Now why did I say that? Finding balance financially. Yes, that came true, but perhaps seeking balance financially. He is an advisor, he's also an investor. Seeking balance financially. Virgo is pentacle, so that could be it. I don't know. I just heard financially. Well, you're, you've got the six of air. It's like Pegasus. This is Pegasus, the mythological horse that can fly. Perhaps you want to move on and upwards. So that, or you might want to go on holiday. So you might need that extra cash. So perhaps you might be getting financial uh, advice or keep trying to keep financial balance. The Six of Swords is also moving home or going on holiday and crossing water. So you're moving away from difficult waters, rough waters. Wow, that is amazing. It's, this is what happens with different decks. You see different things. You Sometimes you see something extra. Also, I'm g look at the crowd that is forming around the Lord. That remember, you're not alone. You can always ask for help from others. Many hands make light work. If you're moving home, ask people to come in and help you. Okay. Now there is a wish coming true as you've got the Nine of Cups. Abundance is yours at the end of the week. Perhaps you're trying to sell a house so that you have to move. So that you are moving to your new house this week. You've sold your house. Most of you will be getting abundance or a pay rise, a new job after um, being out of work for a while because it is a nine so there's end of difficulties new beginnings here you've got the ten of earth the ten of earth is the ten of coins so money is in your chart this week the ten of earth is the ten of pentacles you might even receive an inheritance it could be a winning of a scratch card or a lottery Somebody might be giving you a gift or you might be going to the bank to seek advice, to get a loan, to get a mortgage. Well, you're going to get it. By the end of the week, you will know. Happy families, you've got two tens here. So, wow, the angels are with you. Happily, this is the ten of cups. You're moving up from the nine of cups to the ten of cups. You might be expending the family. Okay, expending family. Both these cards mean expending the family, but the cups means that you're ultimately happy. Fa a reunion with family and friends, awesome. And you have the world in your hand. Yes, in this situation, you would be. And you would have. You've been creative. You've got 21. The world is your oyster. This could be going up to the next level from being married and being in a couple to becoming parents. This could be getting married after being um, engaged. You might be moving in together and create a family home like expanding. There you go. Um, the world is also something that's round. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. This is also a, my karma card, Aries, and if you've done good or bad, it will come back to you threefold. If somebody has done you good or bad, they will get it back threefold. This is also the moving home card and going on holiday, traveling. You might be traveling with something with wheels. Okay, now the overall energy is the queen of fire. That is the energy. You're going for it. The Queen of Fire is Leo. So you could meet a Leo. It could be a best friend that you're meeting up with. But if not, then you will take a page out of her book. You're determined to get something. You know what you want. And cost what may, you will get it. 
definitely you are in action you have a passion for something and you're going to go for it look from the 9 to the 10 you're moving upwards you're moving away from rough waters you're going to quieter waters so if you want to go on holiday you might be making plans this week but I think you might be actually traveling on Sunday Saturday or Sunday it could even even be on Wednesday now the card from the Avalonian uh, deck is the healer and obviously the healer means that you have been healed from difficult times or ill health or um, being in power with your center your core yourself because the um, hermit is also a healer and he does show how to meditate and contemplate and so you can heal yourself well done now this is a powerful card this could also be that you are the healer okay my darling so you have one of the uh, nine um, oh gosh elements I forgot what the names are but I'm just trying to find the healer obviously a healer means that you can also be a healer uh, of uh, somebody else you have taken care of somebody and you are actually sharing your love expending the family taking care okay being the healer is also not only he healing yourself or others but and like I said coming to the core of yourself come standing within your power but you're harvesting big time here as well spiritually uh, you're supporting everybody else everybody else is noticing your skill and that you unite everybody perhaps you are the head of the family and organize the partner and a reunion in the family to bring back balance within the family and friends circle awesome and balance in between body and mind boom 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 these cards are awesome so this card also corresponds and relates to these two cards and you will feel more at peace just embrace the wholesomeness of this situation and at this moment The appearance of an healer indicates an opportunity for transformation and deep healing. Make sure that you uh, are open and uh, uh, with your heart, your solar plex and your mind and that you are able to see what's happening around you. Because abundance is here, there's no longer need for worry you will feel absolutely awesome happy psychedelic happy look at the rainbows in the cards here here and the big chakra card as well you are being really ultimately happy and prosperous in whatever way mentally physically or materially you've got it all take care and show gratitude and thanks like I said if somebody has done you bad it will come back to them threefold and if you it also good if you've done good which by this card and these two cards you have you'll get it back big time nine and ten I think you are getting it back threefold three cards that signify the threefold of karma. Ciao, ciao, take care, and I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Have a wonderful week.